so hi there awesome developers in this tutorial we are going to explore the powerful and versatile flatlist component in react native flatlist is a must know component for any react native developer as it allows you to efficiently render a large list of items with ease in this tutorial we will be focusing on some of the most important and commonly used props in the flatlist component which include data the data array that flatlist will render then we are going to discuss about render item other than that we are going to discuss what key extractor is and after discussing all these three props we are going to discuss an optional prop which is item separator component okay and with the help of all these we are going to build this beautiful ui which is basically a list of data uh, and we have built it using flat list okay so but now the question arises is why flat list why not why can't we do it using the javascript method which is map and why not any other uh, component so let us check out why so benefits of using flatlist so the first aspect is performance okay so flatlist is designed for performance optimization when rendering large list so when you have a small list of data the performance uh, won't be affecting much but when you have a we have a large list of data then we would see a lag in the performance but with the help of flatlist we can improve the performance okay so it only renders items that are currently visible on the screen which is also known as windowing or virtualization so as you have seen when you scroll through facebook feed or instagram feed you don't see all the content at once as you keep on scrolling the content keeps on growing right okay so this is how we make performant uh, list so as you keep on scrolling the data comes in and then it start on the screen then start rendering on the screen this is how you make app performant using flatlist and so this reduces memory consumption and improves rendering performance especially for large data sets and uh, other than that we have some built in features which flatlist gives us so flatlist come with several built in features that make it easier to create feature rich list some of these features include full to refresh infinite scrolling which we will be covering in the next video and item separator which we will be covering in this video itself so this feature can save us time and effort when implementing common list functionality so by the end of this video you will have a solid understanding of how to use flatlist component effectively in your react native projects so without further ado let's dive right in and start building our list yeah so now let's get started with the coding flatlist okay so this is my filter list screen flatlist screen that i have created and here we have two major imports the first one imports the basic components from react native that is if here we style sheet text and view the other one imports react okay so here we have data so uh, this data will be used to uh, render the list of items on our screen and other than that we have a return statement which basically contains a view and other than that we have a safe area view which basically is a react native component that helps ensure your content stays within the safe areas of a device and avoiding overlaps with the system ui elements like the status bar uh, these notches and uh, rounded corners okay so i know you you must be knowing about it but it was just a quick recap of what safe area view is if i remove this you can see it will the content would go to the extreme top okay so it is better to add safe area view and other than that i have a text okay so which is basically rendering flat list i'll be removing it once i start once we start coding our flat list okay so and other than that we have this styling okay so this is not a like a, a ui tutorial so i won't be focusing on adding styling during the video itself so i have added the basic styling already okay so though i will explain what all these styling's are okay as the tutorial goes on so yeah now let's get started with the actual coding part so first thing first i need to basically uh, grab the flat list component from react native okay yeah so here it is our it has a uh, flat list component and now we need to see what all props it takes okay so the very first important prop which is which it takes is the data prop okay and inside this data prop 
we need to pass the list that we want to display on the screen so what list we need to display it is this data so let us check it out this data is an array of objects which contains an object multiple objects which contains id which is very unique then it's contain title and image url okay so this is one item and now let us pass it over here okay and now what we need to do is we need to add another important prop which is render item okay so the render item prop is a function responsible for rendering each item in the flat list okay so it allows us to define how each item should be displayed in the list okay so this function basically receives an object in uh, as its argument and this object contains two properties item and index so item is the individual element that is here and okay so this is the item and index is the position of the element in the array okay so you will understand more as we start writing the code so render item and now this takes a callback function okay and let us return a basic view as of now like so okay now if i write uh, let's say element over here so what exactly this element is this element is this particular object okay so now just to uh, make it more clear what i can do is i can destructure the item and index so here is how i would do it item index okay so i just uh, destructure the uh, data inside it instead of writing it like uh, let's say like element dot item dot id so by using this syntax what we can do is i can simply write item dot id okay basic javascript so here we don't need index so we can omit it i just need item so inside this view i just want to render text as of now so let me render item dot or oh, let me check what we have as text title okay so here i have mentioned title so here you can see all the title of the five objects have been rendered over here so now we have rendered the text right but now i want an image also okay so image is contained here in the image url key so what i can do over here is i can import image from react native and i can write source which now here uh, we need to give the source so i will be passing a uri which is item dot image url right okay it is throwing some error maybe double curly brackets okay image i haven't imported image mm, it has to be in capital yeah so image is still not rendering because we haven't given any styling to it so let us pass some inline styling so i'm gonna give a height of let's say 200 and width of 200 okay yeah images are rendering uh, rendering perfectly fine and now so our text and image have been rendered but one thing another probe over here is a key extractor probe so we will discuss it later but let me just add this styling so let me add this style to the flatlist container styles dot flatlist container perfect so here you can see our we have a container of blue color on the images which contains image and the text and uh, okay so we need to make some things like we need to fix the image so here i can give it a width of 100 percent maybe so that it wraps the entire view yeah perfect so now this looks like a card okay and to the text also i can give certain styling all right style dot text it has to be styles yeah so to the text i would give um, 
maybe font size 24 pixels okay yeah and a padding from top which is maybe 6 pixels yeah now it, it looks a bit better the font is clearly visible okay yeah so now what else we can do we have rendered our text successfully and we have rendered the image okay, but one thing we have is we need to use another prop which is basically a key extractor prop okay so in the key extractor, key extractor prop what we do is we basically this is a prop which is used to provide a unique identifier key for each item in the list so react basically uses keys to efficiently manage the list items when the data changes such as when we delete add or edit data okay so react knows that which item uh, which data has been modi modified right so this is basic react stuff so the key extractor prop here accept a function that receives an item from the data array and it returns a unique key as a string okay yeah so now what we can do is we can write it like so and what i can do is i have access to item so i'm gonna write item dot id and we need to convert it to string so i can do it like this yeah okay item doesn't exist okay i need to do it like this yeah so now we have added a key extractor prop which basically identifies each item uniquely now we won't be seeing any error in the console okay so now what another prop we have on flat list so now if you want to separate if you want to give some kind of divider to these cards you can use a prop called item separator component which is a optional prop so this prop is required this prop is required this prop is required but this is a optional yet important prop in case you want some better separation between your ui okay so what this does is it also takes the callback function like so and here what we can give is we can give a view okay and let me add a style for this view i can give it a height of maybe one and a background color of let's say red yeah so here you can see we have a, a red colored uh, uh, separator but this doesn't uh, looks very much aligned with the ui i mean the color doesn't looks nice so oh okay okay we have a separator i had added a style for separator already so yeah here what we can do is i'm gonna write separator it has to be styles yeah see now you can see a, a slight grayish separator over here right so this looks fine so here is how you can add a divider if you want so this basically item separator component it basically takes an arrow function and to this arrow function we can give any any uh, ui that you want to render so for each item in that flat list it will render this particular uh, data whatever you are providing over here so generally uh, i have seen like passing a view which basically uh, adds a separator to the uh, data of the list okay yeah so yeah this was it with this video I hope you did understand this uh, flat list, how you can use flat list to render a uh, image and text and how you can efficiently use flat list. Okay. So yeah, this was it with this tutorial. So if you like this video, please do share it with your friends and please do consider subs subscribing this channel. Uh, it motivates me to create more such videos. Yeah, so thank you.